Good afternoon. You know, I know you had a choice between Aaron Rodgers' comeback game and us. I think you made the right choice. Thanks for, for sharing your Sunday afternoon with the Beloit Janesville Symphony Orchestra. Uh, my name is Edie Barron. I'm the executive director. It's um, a position I'm very proud of, and I'm thrilled to be working with this incredibly vibrant and wonderful orchestra. The people behind me waiting anxiously to play while I keep blabbing on and on um, are really top tier, just incredible. And if you think that orchestras are kind of dull, open your eyes and watch how these people play. There is so much physical energy going on. So enjoy the concert. We'll see you at intermission and have a happy holiday. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. So wonderful seeing you again. Happy holidays. And uh, that was, of course, Sleigh Ride by the great Leroy Anderson, who has written such wonderful holiday music for us throughout the years. And um, he wrote that during the summertime, during a heat wave, which turns out to be not surprising, because our next selection by Irving Berlin, White Christmas was written during a heat wave in Los Angeles a few years before that in 1942. There must be something about the heat that makes these composers 
nostalgic for the wonderful winter season. So, White Christmas, the song, first appeared in the movie Holiday Inn during the World War II years with Bing Crosby. But it didn't do well commercially at first, the song. In fact, Bing Crosby's recording session for the song lasted just 18 minutes. And when it was over, he turned to the composer and said, well, Irving, I don't have a problem with the song, which is not exactly a rave review. <laughs> However, the song went on to do pretty well. Actually, commercially, move over Beatles, move over Michael Jackson, because White Christmas went on to sell 100 million copies, making it the best-selling single record of all time. We'd like to move on now with uh, a beautiful number called White Christmas. Thank you so much. So now we have another medley by Leroy Anderson. Uh, we heard his sleigh rides begin the program. This is a, a Christmas festival, which is a wonderful medley of holiday songs. And you might say that uh, Leroy Anderson was the greatest composer of his time for light pop orchestral music for special occasions such as this. And he was discovered, as you were, as you might say, by uh, the great Arthur Fiedler, the legendary conductor of the uh, Boston Symphony who practically invented the Pops Music Concert. This is a Christmas festival.
Thank you so much. It's wonderful Christmas music, isn't it? Thank you so much. Well, we have a special visitor this time of year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome jolly old Saint Nick. This is the real Santa Claus right here in Janesville. Hey Santa, how are you? I broke a tooth this morning. You're kidding. I am not kidding. I need a new tooth from Santa. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm Santa, I forgot. <laughs> I think you can, as a special dispensation, you're allowed to give yourself a gift. Thank you, Dr. Tomas. He just made it onto the nice list. Yeah, and I knew that already. <laughs> well, what are you going to do for us now, Santa? Okay, we're going to do a couple of sing-alongs with the orchestra. If you can open your program, it's on the back side of the schedule. There's no page numbers. But at the top it says sing along and we're doing Deck the Halls and we're doing We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Are you okay with me there? I didn't think so. Can we move myself? To my left? There's no room to my left. I have to go to my right. Uh oh, now, now she's not on the nice list anymore either. No, she is very nice and polite. She was very polite. She wore her Santa hat last night, but I don't see it today. You need to get that. I want to see it second, second act. Thank you. Back on the list. She's on the list, the good list. Oh, Mrs. Santa's here. Where's Mrs. Santa? Mrs. Santa, back over there in the corner. Hi, Mrs. Santa. Hi, Ma. Hi, dear. Has and, he been and this year? My, 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 my daughter is here, too. Oh, wow. Hi, Anna. Daughter Santa. Woo. Santina. They are here. Seriously, they are here. They, they're very shy. And they don't have red noses like Rudolph, so they can't light themselves up. But we better go ahead and do your thing. Okay. Okay. I guess, Santa, let's start off with Deck the Halls, okay? Okay, sounds good. If you want to stay on the list, you better sing loud for Santa. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, ma la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, ma la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel, ma la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol, ma la 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 la. See the blazing you'll be for us, ma la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, ma la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure, ma la 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 la. While I tell of you, tight treasure, ma la 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 la. Fast away the old year passes, ma la 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 la. Hail the new year, lads and lasses, ma la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together, ma la 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 la. Heedless of the wind and weather, ma la 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 la. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I don't see a harp. The a song harp? talks about a harp. Yeah. We, we need to have a harp by next year. The harp player was not on the good list. I had to get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. But that gentleman is really good, and he's going to imitate the harp. Okay. Later on. Very good, very good. You, 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 you're back on the On nice the list. electric synthesizer you brought him for Christmas last year. Oh. Hey, is that still working for you? Good, good to hear. <laughs> okay, let's try... Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Now, you know, it occurs to me, we sing these songs over and over again. Have you ever really read the words to We Wish You a Merry Christmas? There's something really funny going on. Let me just give you a minute. So it starts off, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So imagine a group of carolers coming out of the snow, they're knocking on your door. You open the door, the fireplace is glowing, and they say, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and you sing, saying, oh, how, how lovely, how nice. And then perhaps, because these carolers are a bit 
fatigued and parched by the rigors of traipsing around all night caroling, they ask for some refreshment. Now, do they ask for a glass of water or a cup of tea? No. They say, oh, bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right here. Yeah. Now, the first part is a kind of odd, figgy pudding. I don't know about you, but I always keep a, a cauldron of figgy pudding bubbling on the stove at this time of year, <laughs> just in case. You never know. But then, bring us some figgy pudding. And then they say, and bring it right here. Now, you might think that asking for figgy pudding, whatever it is, that is odd, but what's with bring it right here? That sounds a little aggressive, doesn't it? Anyway, but they don't stop there in their pudding demands. They go on. And what do they say next? We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring it right here. Call 911. Well, it's, it's almost that time. So now you find yourself standing in the door and you're realizing that you're being confronted with a group of people who seem to be threatening you. <laughs> that is, if you don't bring some figgy pudding right now, they won't go away. A SWAT team works. Right? A SWAT team works. A SWAT team works. Now you wonder, what will they do if you don't bring any figgy pudding? Are they going to burn your house down? What's going to happen? So the next question arises. What is turning these nice young people into figgy pudding addicts. <laughs> what is in that stuff besides figs and, gl and goo? I know the chief of police. <laughs> you does might that, get does that help? No. Well, the answer to what's in it is they say the proof is in the pudding. So maybe figgy pudding is like 80% proof. <laughs> anyway, think about that when we're singing the song. Dr. Tommaso, your group is invited to my house. We have tons of figgy pudding all the time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Santa. How about a great round of applause for Santa? He'll be back. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Mrs. Santa. Thank you. All the little Santas.
Thank you so much. That was, of course, the great Christmas classic, Carol of the Bells. Uh, our next selection is Do You Hear What I Hear? Now, many of you might not know, I certainly did not, that this was written by the, the husband and wife songwriting team of Noel Regney and Gloria Shane Baker, written in early October of 1962, during the height of the Cuban Missile Crisis, when we were on the brink, it seemed, of nuclear war, and they wrote it as a plea for universal peace. So, I think it stands as one of the most beautiful carols. Do you hear what I hear?
Thank you so much. That was the beautiful I'll Be Home for Christmas, which was Bing Crosby's follow-up hit to White Christmas, and which, which he recorded um, also during World War II, and which was a big hit with our troops overseas longing to come home and be with their families for Christmas. We'd like to end our first act today with a perennial favorite, March of the Toys, from the 1934 Laurel and Hardy film, Babes in Toyland, which takes place in a fairy tale village, which is invaded by monsters called boogeymen from someplace else. Desperate to find a way to turn back the invasion of the boogeymen, Stan and Laurel, Stan and Ollie break into a toy shop and bring to life an army of six foot tall wooden soldiers who successfully drive the boogeymen out of Toyland. Ladies and gentlemen, March of the Wooden Soldiers. March of the Toys.
Beloit Janesville Symphony Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen, your hometown orchestra. Thank you so much. Have a lovely intermission. See you in a little bit for much more music. Thank you so much for coming out in this busy holiday season. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to do some more sing-along stuff, and Dave's going to play his guitar, and we're going to start off with something that's sort of like my theme song. Santa Claus is coming to town. So if you know the words, I don't know, did they hand you a separate sheet with words on it? Okay, it's on there, there. It wants me to move over just a hair. You know, next year, Santa is going to have to get a whole lot better glasses or like stuff this big in order to see. Okay, let's go. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm making a list, checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. I see you when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake. I know when you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, one more time. Santa Claus is coming. Oh, that part. To town. Yo, Dave. David. You know what that sounds like to me when you play that guitar with the, what do you call that thing? Kpo, Kpo. It sounds like a Hawaiian guitar, and you know who that reminds me of? Don Ho. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, David, David, do you know Santa Claus is known for liking cookies, cookies and milk. I love cookies and milk, but Mrs. Claus, who is in the audience, tells me I can't have them anymore. Ugh. I love, especially Christmas cookies and chocolate chip cookies, but you know, things called blood pressure. I thought you said I had all the time I needed. You lied to me. I got one more thing. This is my new favorite snack. Ho, ho! They did ask me to sell, or try to sell, pecan. They got them out in the lobby, 10 bucks a bag, chocolate covered, caramel cluster, all kinds of pecans. And they, I'm told they're really good, so you might want to, you know, fork over the bucks for that. One more song, which one? Jingle bells. Okay. Jingle bells. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> oh yeah, it's me making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Can you take it up a notch? I mean, those of us who are not now, okay, well, I suffer then, all right. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank, misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifted bank, and then we got upset. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas, Jamesville!
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome back. That was a, a rockin' Christmas. Some rockin' Christmas songs for you. We'd like to continue with a new arrangement of the uh, Christmas classic, Silent Night, arranged by Chip Davis of the famous pop orchestra, Mannheim Steamroller. This is Still a Nacht. Thank you so much. Now the poem that we all know, it was the night before Christmas, it was published in the Troy, New York Sentinel in 1823, on December 23rd of that year, and attributed to the Harvard scholar Clement Clark Moore. Besides being a wonderful, magical vision of a visit by St. Nick on Christmas Eve, Mr. Moore, by giving us the vivid description of the character of Saint Nick in the poem, is credited with actually creating the character of Santa Claus as he came to be known in our national culture. To read the narrator part to this beautiful holiday poem, we are happy to welcome to our stage a wonderful artist who many of you may know well and have seen on this stage in many theatrical productions, David Bitter. He's right here from Janesville. And you may have seen him here uh, with Theater Unlimited and such shows as Oliver, My Fair Lady, and A Funny Thing um, happened on the way to the Forum, or in Beloit at the Civic Theater in Greetings, and Lend Me a Tenor, and Moonlight and Magnolias. He has also performed in many live radio shows on WCLO and WPEL, and as well as many short films uh, in the area. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our star, uh, our stage, our guest artist, Dave Bitter. Dave, 
you know, when you have those dreams that you're walking out in public and you're in your, your pajamas, your underwear, you might be having one of those dreams right now. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas. Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. rest of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dancer, now Dancer, now Spencer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Turning around down the chimney, 
St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all! And to all, Good night. Dance de la Militon, Waltz of the Flowers, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and Dance Bus Trepac. Selections from the Nutcracker. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for this Please give a round of applause for the beloved James Hill, Symphony Orchestra. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's not quite the end of our program. We have a special uh, unanticipated encore. I've been asked to sing a song. I know you're all saying, well, he conducts good. Can he sing? <laughs> Not really, but I'm going to sing this. Um, some members of the board of directors asked me to sing a Christmas song that I've written. And uh, it was released a few years ago. I think I actually sang it once with this orchestra. But now, in its fourth season of release, I got a call from the record company. And it's gone global. It's all over the world. It's had over a million downloads digitally. Um, radio stations all over the world, and even corporations that put together these, the taped uh, Muzak for uh, shopping malls and fast food restaurants. It's in McDonald's, it's in Subway, Taco Bell, the Hilton, the Hilton hotels, and um, somebody at the record company got a call from somebody in Ohio saying, I'm in a Walmart, Is it, holds, holds a phone up to the speaker, isn't this your guy's song? So it's out there. In the tradition of um, I'll Be Home for Christmas, it's a song about missing somebody who's far away for many reasons. One second. Hold on, please. Hit it, Maestro. It's called Don't Open Till Christmas. Christmas comes but once a year. I miss you so much, baby. I wish you were here. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody 
sing, oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. One more time. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Happy holidays, everybody. We love you from the Beloit Chancellor of New York.